it's ready to go. The camera's going on the laptop and also the um, um, desktop. I'll get the desktop going. Select the video source, webcam, webcam, start, go live. Today it's, um, I can't wait for that one. I'll just wait for the desktop to start up. The desktop live video is starting. We wait for that one to go. Okay, it's going. The desktop is going and also the laptop is going. Now, I'm going to ring the main office in Auckland, BNZ, and get an appointment to go there tomorrow. Hopefully we get through to the boss. And um, both cameras are going, so we can keep a recording of what we're doing in stages. And we're having the court hearing tomorrow, Wednesday, for Auckland, uh, for Hamilton, <coughs> Mitchell Family Trust, and Eddie Mitchell, the director, and the money laundering Phoenix activity case. 17 trillion US dollars, and that's tomorrow's Zoom court hearing in the Magistrate Court number 65 online Zoom, and I'm putting it on from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. <coughs> and an hour between lunch, and that's private. Okay, I'm going to have that private. Okay, so there, that's that. Camera there. Go down a little bit. Over there, that's okay. Right, both cameras are going, that one, and the laptop and desktop. So now, I'll get the phone and ring. See <coughs> how we get on. I need some answers. <coughs> right. I don't have it. <coughs> I must have got your access number wrong. So we can handle your call faster. Please say or key in your access number, which can be found on the back of your impulse or credit card. So your keypad entries from your phone are no longer being Um, Phoenix Activity Money Laundering Case. And what type of product are you calling about? I'm calling about my compromised company. That's, um, I need to talk to Russell Hill, please. www.bnz.co.nz forward slash privacy for more information. If you would like a copy of the policy, please ask one of our team. While you wait for one of our team to answer your call, you have a choice of music to listen to. My 
Michael. Yes, Michael, could I speak to or make an appointment to see Russell Hill, please, for a case I've got running with the BNZ. It is a money laundering case. I want to follow up with it. I'm coming to Auckland tomorrow and wondering if I can come into your office to sit down with you and uh, Russell Hill to discuss well, what, uh, what the case is and involving a lot of money. Uh, John Wanoa, W-A-N-O-A, and I have a company registered with the BNZ Bank, and I want to recover stolen money from my company that's been compromised by someone in New Zealand, in Hamilton, and I'm... Um, Russell's associated with the fraud team then, isn't Yes, that's right, he's the right... Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no, I don't. So the app, app is okay. I can confirm with the app, the BNZ app. You got the BNZ personal app, cool. Yes. Yep, hang on, I'll just get into it first. Um, cool. yeah, so don't, don't log in, just open the app basically to where you log in. Oh. And you should see a message popping up from me. Uh, okay, you did you call BNZ or expect this call from BNZ? Yes. <coughs> yeah, and you may need to click yes a second time. On yes, the yes, channel. yes, I have. Confirm. Authorification. Cool. Confirm. <coughs> it's okay. What's your name again? What's your name? Michael. Michael, okay, Michael. Okay. So, not a problem. Um, the um, fraud case that they're working on, is that um, under you as an individual yeah. or under a business or where, whereabouts? Is it's that? under a business, Na Atua Ewa Alte Limited, and it's exactly 17 trillion US dollars. It is a claim. Yes, that's correct. It's all there on my my um, yes, website and recorded and is disclosed to public. Everybody's watching. I'm I'm a court judge, and I have recorded everything, and I need to sit down with the team. It's no the business. That, that's that's a business account with the BNZ. I've already gone through it. They said they'll... Yes. Yep, that's right. Um, it's N-A, that's the first word, A-T... Oh, hang on, no, I don't. I'm, 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 I'm still trying to ring for you to make an appointment and um, it's yeah, so you, I, I'm just I, I'm just I, I want the fraudulent to be able to help you when they get through oh okay um, so if you've got if it's your business account that's, that this has happened on that's all the notes are going to be so yeah I'm hoping that I can um, that I can just pass that on so they can okay I'll, I'll, I'll have a look hang on I'll just have a look um, at the uh, account, um, hang on, where am I going to go, I'll go log in, log in, hang on, here, here, one, here, I'm going into the account now, one, one, one. oh no, hang on, one, that didn't work, Hang on. That's okay. Hang on. You're just logging into your, your business banking, are you? Yep. Cool. Even if you just know the access number for your business banking, that would be oh, right. Oh, I've got an access number here, but it's not a business account. 
It's just my personal account, 202. I understand, but you said that the... It's a registered business, yes. The business itself is worth that much, 50 years of research. That company, Na Atua Ewa Aote Limited, and I'd have to go back and get it online. Hang on, I'll just try to go back online and find... Just checking, this is, yeah, this is an open account you have with the NZ, is that correct? Is yes, that yes, it's not, um, it's not a business account, it's the business name that I was registering the business with in Philippines. I've got business in Philippines using... Okay, so, so, so the fraud that's occurred on your BNZ account, did that occur on your personal BNZ account? Um, yes, on the name of the business itself. The name... No, the, no, 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 yeah, I, I understand you've got a, a business in the Philippines. That you're dealing with yeah, that. yeah. You told me there's fraud that's occurred on one of your BNZ yeah, that, accounts. Yeah, that account, your, yes. Yeah, the personal, it's the personal account. Okay. It's, okay. it's so the let personal. Let me just, just try and get you through. Yes, the thank you. So they can, they can help organize yeah, thanks very much. They already got the records already. They should have had three weeks into it already. So I'm going to go through and get you yeah. through to it. I'll thank you. Predict. Thank you. I just need to stand in front of them and... <laughs> Here's the video there, and the video there, so that's still running. We hope we get an appointment with um, Russell Hill. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. I, I was hoping that I can come and explain the whole website of how it's pieced together to make 17 trillion in 50 years of research and putting it together for the land lease of New Zealand country. I'm the president. Sorry, just because yeah, it's out of my expertise, you mentioned that it's an existing fraud investigation. Yes. It's probably best if, uh, if I get someone from the fraud team to call you in. They yes, they that's best. How, how they can help. Yes. While, while I'm in Auckland, while I'm in Auckland tomorrow, it'd be good to come in and explain myself.
check your internet connection. Check your internet connection. Connected. It's connected. Where's he gone? Mobile hotspot. He's still there. Phone number still there. I still got the phone number running. In video, no. Close unused applications. Action needed. Check your internet. What's wrong? Language. Money laundering case. Um, I want to get through to um, back to my call with Michael, the Ford Squad.
fraud case, criminal um, money laundering. I want, I want to talk to Russell Hill, please. <coughs> the uh, um, Crime Operations of PNZ. General Manager of Financial Crime Operations in BNZ, Auckland. Your call will be recorded, and when they do, you'll disclose the information which you need from them. Your rights to access or correct that information can all be found in our master privacy policy. Visit www.bnz.co.nz forward slash privacy for more information. If you would like a copy of the policy, please ask one of our team. Why do you wait for one of our team to answer your call? Michael before but my phone went off and uh, I want to uh, see if I could get an appointment to see uh, Russell Hill he's the general manager of, manager of financial crime operation at the BNZ custom accounts team I've got a case there with money laundering and it's been in BNZ for three weeks now and waiting for someone to come to see in Auckland in your main office there in Queen Street and I can sit down and identify who I am behind that claim that I'm making with the BNZ Bank as a client. Yes. Would you know what your access number is? Oh, I've, I haven't got a business account. I've only got a personal account. So that access number is 202-607-169. Okay. <coughs> That's a personal account and um, a new Visa card. But I've been using the company, my company registered with the BNZ with a business I have in in Philippines and in Britain as well. I've got a registered company since 2009. Okay, I just need to quickly verify you and I can check this all off. Yep. Um, I'll send you a request to your BNZ app. Yep. I'll, prove that, yep. Go. Okay, yeah, I'm doing that right now. I'll just go to my BNZ app right now, which is, hang on, where is it, hang on, yep, whoops, I haven't got it yet, hang on, um, where is it, hang on, yep, nope, not yet, why haven't I got it? Um, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, I'm there now. Okay. Yep, I see that. Request sent. And yes, it's me. Yes, that's me. Authentication confirmed. Thank you. <coughs> I've got that on my head now. Yep. So I'm coming up to Auckland tomorrow. I can come into the office and go over the website. Everything is disclosed there for this court case, which is quite huge. And I can go through it with his team and then try and get to resolve the whole thing. Tomorrow, if I can make a time for two o'clock or three o'clock in the afternoon, we'll be fine. It's very important that I um, explain um, the situation and it's um, um, a British Crown connection. Uh, 
I can get an appointment with him would be very good. I think the BNZ would um, would know something close to how it, it looks, and I'm into the business of that that um, company, real estate, and um, also um, tidal turbine energy projects in Denmark, in in Europe. Right, current now. Yes. So um, he sent an email to our front team to request uh, them to request that appointment. Yes. Um, so it'll be up to the front team's discretion of when they're available, but they'll, they'll, we've requested a call back, so someone in their front team will, will specifically give you a call. Yes. To see if um, we can set that appointment. Yes. Time and date. Yes. Um, Preferably tomorrow, because I've got other things, business in Auckland. Preferably tomorrow, any time. Um, I'm not too sure, because from what I know, our fraud team um, isn't really available to, to do appointments, so I'm not sure if they will be able to sort something out for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll, they'll contact you, they should contact you anyway, so to get that sorted. Yes, I've, I've sent the latest email to customer underscore in information underscore team at bnz.co.nz it's just a follow-up from me that's gone an email there and uh, just the current situation I'm in with businesses in 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 uh, in overseas countries I've set up over 50 years I've set this all up it's a it's a money laundering Phoenix activity 17 trillion US dollars and that's a claim that I put together for the lease of New Zealand country which is worth that much in my name it's in the wrong name and that person is in Hamilton I want him in the High Court that's what I want to be in Z to help me to take him to the High Court to ask him where did he get that money from and who put it together my brain put it together not the Mitchell Family Trust they didn't do it. My brain put that years and years and years online court hearings. I do native magistrate court hearings myself and our team on 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 live on online number sixty five now court hearing for that man and others as well. And it's not small, it's huge. I'm with the big companies in Europe in the Cowie engineering and I've been with them for years. I never had the money. Now I have. Okay. I've got. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sorry. Ask, have you already um, filed a report for this with the police? Uh, yes, they did nothing. The the police did nothing. The investigation him team here did nothing. The Australia um, biz, um, um, banking association did nothing. Tuki Taki fraud squad and money laundering in Singapore where they wash up all these companies and mine did nothing and it's all on my Facebook and on my my website all me talking to them on video and nobody did anything they covered it up they covered up the fraud and I've only got the BNZ bank here to to help me to get that back into the BNZ and my name that put it all together. I'm the one that put it together as the president of the Confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand. I'm the one at Waitangi that's got the brain to put all this together over the years and I'm 75 now and nobody else can do that. Only me and the British Crown. Yeah, it's quite a lot of things wrapped up in one. And I can explain the whole lot in front of them and they can see. I put 303 shell companies in Australia right there on that email there so that they can investigate how much money was spent on it in a short space of time and where did that money come from to buy all those companies that are making 30 trillion profit in US dollars and worth 17 trillion. That's all my brain. That belongs to me and the BNZ Bank. I want it back. 
that's what I need a hand because I'm on a pension. I'm running this whole business all these years on a pension. And that's all I've got. I haven't got enough money to fight them in the court. I've got every other aspect of it, technical and uh, legal, and I haven't got the money. Now I've got the money, equity, it's 17 trillion, and I'm already buying property all over this country with that equity. The equity belongs to me. I can prove it belongs to me. I just need to sit down with your team and this fella, Russell, and uh, explain it. And that's a lot of money for the bank missing out on it, Russell Hill. And that should be in your bank making money. I'm in the banking industry and I'm a mortgage broker, bank broker for years. And I'm in real estate. I've got all the tickets. I've got the engineering tickets for the biggest tidal turbine project in the world. And everybody knows. Even here, everybody knows. It's my brain that stuck all this together. And the Norwegian company and the Dutch company and also the biggest... Um, 2.3 billion submarine in the world. I've got my order on that already, talking to them, that I want it here with that equity, okay? Because we got tidal turbine projects that turn over 55 billion each a year on one tidal turbine bridge. And they want the power. I've got it. I've got the engineering skills as an engineer, designer, and those people in Britain know. They know I know a lot. So I just want someone that can help me take this man, Eddie Mitchell, to the High Court. I'm very good at the High Court and courts in Britain. I run the British courts, me. You can see me all over the world on YouTube. YouTube. Running the whole crown, me. Nobody can believe it, but we're their partners here in New Zealand. You may call them Maori, but I call them just ordinary sovereign people. We're all the same. No different, only that God gave somebody a bit more brain than the other. So that's all I want, appointment to sit down, have a meaningful discussion, and I want to go back into the real estate business and go and make the bank a lot of money because I can do it. I've got a 200 acre property in South Island right down in Rickerton ready to go with brand new luxury houses. That's just one project. You see the bank should be interested because I've got all that experience in my lineup with my CV to to have a bank with me. I don't have a bank. I've only got the ideas. And those big energy companies in Britain and Europe want these ideas to make hydrogen out of the sea and the moon tides. That's what I do. Nobody else does what I do. You see, just an idea, just like Elon Musk. We got ideas, but no money. The equity is there to go straight into these big companies and they know already because I keep writing to them and talking to them. I just need someone to listen to me and they're better in a boardroom because I'm very good in a boardroom. I'm very good. I just need the confidence of the bank and it'll work out very well for everybody. I've got all the information. Hmm. You, you, yeah. But yeah, it's just waiting for them to contact you, then waiting for our fraud team to, to give you a call. Yes, so, so I can't be patient anymore because my auctions are next week.
for these big properties and there's a lot of people and real estate companies waiting because they know how I can handle it with a bank. Yeah, I'm a bank broker. That's what I do online with people, set it all up and the bank kicks in. But it's three weeks now that the bank was going to investigate. It's easy to see where the money is. It's easy. It's all there. I've disclosed everything. It's out in the public. The public is witness to it. It's there. There's no hard and fast thing to go and find it. It's there. You just need to pick one of those companies in Australia. If I had the money, I'd be over there. I'd string it up in no time. If I had the money to go to the High Court to pay the court for the fees, I would clean it up in no time. One day. Finished. Gone. And it's it's the bank that's holding me up. That's business lost. The business is lost. Every minute that goes past, it's business lost. That guy has got the trillions. He's got 30 trillion profit from 17 trillion. Already. In his name. It shouldn't be in his name. It's got to go back in my name. I did all the work. I did all the research for 50 years. I put it together to get the lease on this country and every other country. 257 native countries in the world follow this one in Britain. I'm running the whole show in Britain. I'm running the whole of Britain. Believe it. Believe me. I'm there running the place. They're watching me. Do it on my own with my benefit. My pension is running the whole business. If I had money, I would make money. I haven't got the money unless I get this equity going and then boom, it's gone. I just leave everybody behind. Gone. Even got the Maui Powerhouse Bank ready to go at 3% interest to sell the two bar pound note. That's mine. In Britain, two bar, not the one bar. That's the Rothschilds. It's not clean. It's the two bar that's patented. I've got it. I'm controlling the two bar power note, the original Patterson power note. I've got it. The one bar is going to get shut down because it's fraudulent and the US dollar is fraudulent and the crypto is fraudulent. It's all on my side. I'm telling everybody how the crypto is going to fall apart because the British have turned it down. I know how it works, everything. I know how the business of money works. It's in my brain from my people that were the judge of the Magistrate Court, Rogans in Scotland, and the Cosgrove lawyers and Governor Generals in Australia. That's my family over there. I've got their brain and nobody's listening. <clears throat> yeah, I just need one person in the bank. One person. And we're gone with 3% to you from the two bar power note. I'm real. I'm telling you, a true story of kings. I'm a surrogate king of all the kings who made the commercial laws and mortgages and banks and loans and everything like that. The king, did it, not the queen, the king. I'm there for the king. Not America, Britain. On their soil land. I'm there as a partner. That's all. Yeah, that's all. I just want someone to listen to me and sit down in a boardroom and I'll be very good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And so we'll be, I guess, I guess, because we've already put that request through, it's looking for our team to receive that request and then get back to you about that. There's really nothing else we can do right now. It's all, it's all our team reaches out to you. Yes, that, I'll be patient and wait for the day, but it's because I'm up in Auckland tomorrow. Yet I thought I might do it, but if there's another day, I will make it another day. But my auctions for all the properties down the South Island is in the billions. It's next week. I want to see if the bank's going to back me and get their money out of it. Because the more the time goes by, the less that you're going to get out of it. Because there must be a bank around that's going to listen to me. That's all. What I'm worth. What am I worth? 17 trillion. That's what my brain is worth. I just want someone to listen to see if it makes sense. 
if it's real, go and inspect those 303 shell companies in Australia. They are fraudulent. They are scam, money laundering, Phoenix activity going on there, and no one's stopping it. It just keeps rolling on until I go and find the money and go and clean it up. Myself, if I have to, then that's what it looks like doing. But uh, it's money that makes money go around. I've never been in money situation before. Just ideas, good ideas, that needs people to see if it's going to be helpful for people. I'm there not for me. I'm there for the whole country. That's my philosophy. I'm just like anybody else. Sharing a better land. So what we'll do, what I'll do, is I'll wait for a reply and a phone call, and that's what it looks like to me so far. And you, for listening to me, it's very good because I got confidence in the bank and the BNZ bank in. Awaroa in Helensville is a big story behind it because that's the story I'm, t I'm carrying. The Awaroa Bank became the BNZ Bank and it went from there. All everything in this country was made by the Freemasons there and I'm right in the middle of the Freemasons that put the native titles together to make money out of the mortgages. It started from Helensville and that's the BNZ Bank right there in the court there. I'm there. I've got all that history in my brain. I got bored up with it over the years. <clears throat> and that's what I'm talking about. The bank being said is very important to me in the history of this country. I want to make sure everybody knows the story of where the BNZ started off from and put the land titles together in the magistrate court that I'm a judge of. I've taken my ancestors in that courthouse in Helensville where all these countries in the world got their titles from there. The Freemasons there took it around the world and went and rode on our back, our New Zealand people down South Island and here in the North Island to Ireland. I've got all that history in Ireland in my brain. It's all on my Facebook, 87 Facebook sites and the website. It's all there. It's taken a long time to put that together with no money. Until now, the equity, someone saw, Eddie Mitchell saw the money and took the money. Him, a Freemason and a barrister. They said, John, you don't know about money. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. And he did. Now I'm saying to the bank, go and get that money back. Put it in your bank and let's go. I'm ready to go with the bank. With that equity in Australia. That's just there. All the properties here are the same too. They use my brain in real estate to get all the land. You see, a lot of people learn from me because I give the information away free. Everybody knows what I do. I disclose everything. Because what is it in for me? Just a bit of satisfaction. That's all. As long as I get satisfied that people are the winners. Not me. The people are the winners. So what I'll do, I'll just wait for a phone call and hopefully they're going to uh, give me a call to go and see um, um, Russell and um, have, have a sit down. He's the manager of the Criminal um, Association of the BNZ. He's got 150 people working for him in Auckland and Wellington. And I want to sit down with him and have a meaningful discussion and he will see the sense in talking to a bank. I'm all for the bank. I'm all for, for hydrogen economy. That's me. The hydrogen economy and fuel from the tides, the moon tides, the roughest seas. That's where I'm going down in Rickerton on the west coast. I'm going right into the roughest seas. And the Chinese will put things up for me because I've got them all ready to go too. They know me in, in China and to construction in the sea with Cowie engineers in Denmark. They're the ones that put all the plans together for all those big projects in China. It's those Danish people 
I've been with them for years. The big boss there, Lars Peter Sobai. I know him way back. And he's got all my plans for the big tidal turbine bridge that's long, over 4 kilometers and 100 meters wide. And that puts out 55 billion US dollars a year profit just from that bridge and aqua farms and hydrogen and all the military planes and every plane, passenger planes, land on it, fill up with the hydrogen from the sea for next to nothing. I did that in my brain and no one can follow. It's too hard. Too hard for anybody to do. Too big, too hard and too complicated. So there, those people in, in Denmark are waiting for me. They're waiting there for us to get going with this project. And I've already got the big, biggest um, 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 submarine in the world, and that's Kristen. Kristen um, with the um, um, Migaloo. Migaloo, that's um, 280 meters long submarine. That's got everything in it. I'm buying that. That's on order next week. That's why I want the bank to hurry up. Hurry up and see sense in getting those people who know how to build things in the sea, right down deep. See, so they're ready to go. We're, it's just the bank holding me up. Why is it taking so long to do such an easy job as finding out where that money came from? 303 companies, I put them there. So you can see on that email, you follow's email, I put it there so you can go and look at them and pick one out and see how much it turns over. You'll be surprised. And this man is a Maori, like me, Maori, that jumped on what I'm doing and I live with him in his house in Hamilton and he took advantage and ran away with the money. That's a Maori, that's a Maori for you. And they're all at Waitangi watching one Maori go and steal. And what's going to happen to someone steal? Lock them up. And get back everything that he's got and put it back in the PNZ and my account and my name and my trust. It's where it should be. He didn't do the work. There's a lot of people like that that go and grab anybody's things. And that's what I want. Some, somebody to go and help me to get it back. Okay? What's, what was your name again? What was your name? Chai, Chai. Oh, thank you for listening to me. That I I really appreciate that. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay. So it's just waiting for our team to contact you again, and hopefully we can set something up. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Have a nice afternoon, and uh, we'll wait patiently. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. You too. Bye. See ya. Bye. There we go. After all that. Hurry up, get going, because I'm in a hurry. Come on, my, my little crew is waiting. Pare is waiting. She's waiting, and Lapata is waiting, and Tamaki is waiting. We're going up to get some dive bottle, so we can dive down deep and watch these fellas at the bottom of the ocean. Eh? Me and Tamaki, we're going to put the bottle on and go down. I can't wait to get my bottle and go and get our gear up in Auckland. And that's why I'm going up there, to pick all the dive gear and down under the sea where I belong, under the sea, under the tide, and go and put the big turbines up and bang, where you go. You see, we got the Norwegians and the Danish people sitting on the side, we say, come on, John, what's wrong? What's the what, what's hold up? I say, oh, they followed in the bank. They, they got the money, but they won't, they won't do anything about it. And all, all of them in the money laundering they're covering each other, and I hope this BNZ is see some sense, because uh, my history is all about the BNZ in Helensville. Our Oil Bank became the BNZ, and that's where the BNZ started Auckland off, and this country, and every other flipping country that's riding on our titles. Okay? They can't make money out of the King William III's mortgage liens and bank loans. That's where it comes from, his brain, and put it in my brain, right? Go and make your own mortgage. Go and try and go around the world and pick up everybody's country and try and do it. No show. Wouldn't have the fucking experience to do fuck all. Okay, so that's all. That'll do for now. I'll just go and have my stew. 
over there, buddy. I got my stew in the pot and the carrots. Thank you for the carrots. Thank you for the kumaras. Thank you for the, the, the hospitality. And now I have to feed myself because I've been to the doctor to get clearance. I'm clear to go, except I'm too light. I'm 71 kg. I should be 82 kg. And she says, my nurse, my doctor says, <coughs> you got diabetes. You fixed all the other problems up, except your diabetes. I said, oh, I still faint a little bit, but I can still drive a car. And I want to go and drive a plane again. Yeah, the big Cessna with the 900 horsepower. And just, poof, lifts off the ground with a big load. And off we go. But in Barabada, I'll show you how to drive a plane, mate. Or make it go fast. Huh? Land anywhere. Land anywhere. Kick anything you want. Just go and get it. And I told this fellow, oh, I got property to buy next week, all over the fucking place. And want the bank to stamp it. Hurry up. Hurry up. You're, you're losing money. Every minute that goes past, the bank is losing money. So I'll have to go and get another fucking bank. Or make my own bank and go and borrow money and give it back when I get the money. Go and borrow money to go to the court and win the court and then go and get our own bank. Because these banks are all corrupted. They're all looking after each other and their fraud. Okay? Just like Trump and his, and his federal government. All fraud. They're all going into the real estate with kings titles and that's come from our brain that's our brain not your brain you didn't do it you didn't do it you just tired it from others the queen worst thing is the queen and the Rothschild stole everything and the Vatican stole and Washington DC stole all that wealth from the king's brain and his mortgage liens bank loans and documents Bank of England Act 1694, pound note act, two bar pound note, I was t telling this fella, two bar, you got the one bar, that's fucking crooked, it's fraud, everything that's come out of one bar pound note didn't go through and get the royal assent from King William the Fourth, the third Dutchman, what, how can you put another flag on this country when it's owned by the Dutch, eh, Cindy Kira is a Japanese Maori, how can she put a new flag on this say, place and say it's the flag of New Zealand? Like hell! Go and chuck it in the rubbish because the kings own this place from Denmark. The richest people in the world, royal family. That's our partner! And keep off because if you're bugging around with our contract, you're going to get fucking booted off the land by this king of Denmark and queen of Denmark. No mucks around now, Maoris. No marriage in this fucking scrum. There was no marriage in Britain. You made it up in your head. And that's where you got in the shit with your Australian New South Wales pirates. Criminal convicts. Willie Jackson and all the fucking rest of them. Tommy Healy, all of them. Shane Jones, the whole fucking lot of them are fucking criminals. They can hear them trying to worm their way around in Parliament. Just bouncing around like a bouncy ball. Bounce from one to the other. One fraud to another fraud to the other fraud. Backwards and forwards, just like a tennis ball. Just like Jordan Maxwell says. It's a game of tennis. It's a game of tennis with a racket. A racket. You know, a real racket? Not a racket with the strings. A racket. That's a scam. Racket scam. That's what he's saying. The birth and racket. Bank on the side of the bank of the river, water, admiralty, law, birth, mother's womb, and all the rest of it that makes money out of fucking bullshit, words, and letters, capital letters. The English and the British screwed everybody. Well, it's time to screw you lot. Hey? Just hearing you fellas talk is double the gook. And nothing in it. Nothing concrete. Kick your fucking elders around. Go to Japan. They don't kick elders around. They look after them. Till they're over a hundred. In Britain, they kick them under the bus. They don't care about old people. They just care about money. Money God is the ruler. 
except the Emperor King. Okay, that's all. I think we'll end this video. And we're going to have some stew. But I'm going to have some stew and wait for the call. Wait for the call. See? It's suspended. And all the properties I've got down on South Island are suspended. I want to go in there and live in Rickerton. Bugger the East Coast. It's fucking bloody not developed. I want to go where the place is developed and looks good to do new projects like Rickerton and Colac Bay. Colac Bay, 200 acres, flat country with potential for everything that I want to do over there and get the hell out of here because there's nothing much left here for me. And my boy is not answering his phone so looks like I'm on my own and my family have abandoned me. So I'm all on my own, Robert and buddy. My boy and my girl in Palmerston has abandoned me. That's what I can tell. And my girl in London are uh, just the same. Okay, so I'm on my own. I'm going to go and look after me and look after what I'm doing. And we go on our own little venture. Okay, we're going to have a bit spend up and go and find some new people, buckets and whatnot down there in South Island. No marriage, just go there and settle down amongst those people who just want to get on with life and enjoy this and that and everything. Okay, see you later. Bye. Switch off. Don't forget, we've got a court hearing tomorrow for Eddie Mitchell online, and I'll put it there so that everybody can see, and then give it to the bank, and see what the bank going to do. They're going to shut their mouth and say nothing, and cover it up, or go with it, and say, it's real, John. It's not humbug. It's real. Okay, in the video, in the video on the desktop, and we'll have some lunch. See you tomorrow at the court hearing. They'll go from 10 o'clock in the afternoon to 4. In the live video now. In the video on the laptop, over here now, time now is 1 o'clock, one twenty.